but NYC prep, like that's just a different level because I would see friends of mine actually in the episodes, you know, just being at the same places. And uh, I think I was a freshman at that point and PC and the cast were all seniors. And I happened to just be going out with one of PC's best friends at the time. So it was just a lot of stuff unfolding. Do you point. remember when, so I mean, I remember like when they were casting, because I was like, they're, what can be better than Gossip Girl, but like a reality yeah. version? Like, do you remember when they were casting? Like, was there I a do. buzz? I think there was some sort of email or Facebook group. I don't remember exactly, but something was going around and we all knew about it. All the girls were like, oh, look at this show. Um, no one I knew had actually applied to be on, but it went around, it circulated. And you never contemplated it? Never. Never, ever, ever. That's like what you do to destroy your chances of getting into college in my book. We're going to talk about that too. So that <laughs> really, like, there was nothing, like, you were never even, because you were over being a shy kid at that point. At that point, I was definitely not shy, but no, I just, it, it, I was a freshman. The kids who they were really focusing on were older, were junior, senior. So it didn't even feel right. Well, now, before we get to the actual cast, so, I mean, listen, it was like the life of like six wealthy teenagers or privileged. And it was showing them, you know, they didn't show them in school, which we have to, that's another thing we're going to get to. But it showed them like going to weekend parties, shopping sprees, going to New York Fashion Week, charity events, dinner parties. Like, I mean, this was normal, right? It was normal. That was very much what was going on. I mean, there were young committees for different organizations, like Operation Smile was the organization to be a part of during that time. I think they filmed during it, and I was at that event. But listen, growing up in New York, it exposes you to so much so soon. And with that comes a lot of opportunity. Listen, I've not seen anyone from the cast since that show. I don't know where they all are. It would be amazing to do a where are they now because I'm genuinely curious. Well, sweetie, we're going we're gonna to do one right here today for you. Perfect. <laughs> we're going to do one. Um. Well, I mean, okay, so like this was your life and you're saying this was accurate, like Gossip Girl, other than the drama and New York City prep, it was relatively accurate, right? Relatively accurate in terms of the places, the schools, the events, the debutante balls, all of that, yes. The actual storylines, of course, those are all made up. But in terms of the general setting, accurate. 